what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel i hope you guys had a great holiday weekend i hope you had a lot of food spent time with your family uh loved ones friends whatever you did or even if you didn't have any of that or even celebrate the holidays i hope you had a great weekend the whole vlogmas thing basically went on a halt i didn't anticipate or at least i didn't even i wasn't even thinking about it that my job is based off what people throw away if they throw away a lot more recycle which during this times of the year, they do before and after Christmas, just because they're starting to throw a whole bunch of boxes away. They want extras. And I was getting out of work like at six, 6.30 sometimes. And by that time I had to run my own errands and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have any time to film videos, guys. And I just simply want to get back in the groove of things so we can start out the year strong. Today, we're going to be working on the Civic. Picked up a container from Walmart, uh, pretty cheap. We're going to go ahead and start putting a lot of the parts that are in the hatch into that box we need room to move around the dashboard because we are working inside to figure out the whole harness and shifter cable situation i just don't want anything in the way that's what we're going to be doing today even boomer and pooch got in the oh pooch where's your sweater at boy where's your sweater at big dog well boomer still got this sweater on so that's cool this is the container oh what are you doing down here this is the container that i went ahead and picked up from walmart as soon as we open the door, we are lacking a bit of space inside the hatch. Really what I'm going to focus on putting inside the container is all of the interior parts. Go ahead and fit in some of the interior parts. We opened up this area. I'm going to go ahead and try to put in the dashboard, see if it fits. And if not, we're going to do some more moving around. <laughs> all right we got it in there and i think it will close hopefully it's okay i have like a carbon fiber overlay on the dashboard it's pretty nice this is probably not how i should be treating it but it's okay we're starting to have a lot of like cracks on it anyways i think this will be okay for now as long as we got enough room on the front fine with me ideally i really don't want everything just stacked up in here because something could break it should be fine hopefully i finish the case swap soon <laughs> so that this is not just sitting in here perfect now we're just stuck with ac units and this box but this is a lot easier in taking in and out than the dashboard was i think i'm gonna go ahead and start removing this foam i really don't care about weight saving more so want this car to be streetable the least amount of road noise possible removing this is probably gonna affect that a little bit but i'm gonna go ahead and and, and install more of this kill mat stuff or i think just buy a new foam and go ahead and just start sticking it up in here i don't know yet that's in the future we're gonna keep it simple today Try to just do a little bit more investigation to see what we got to do in order to make this case swap function. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just pull it out. We'll see what happens. If it works out, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on time lapse. Ah, that was easy. Go ahead. Oh, this one, this one's screwed on. I just found this on the ground. I don't know what this is. If any of you guys got an idea, let me know. This side is basically all removed. Looking at this side, it looks like we're gonna have to be removing some bolts, which I really don't want to. So looking around a bit more, it doesn't, or it might, it might be under that bolt, but I think we're just gonna go ahead and start cutting the foam and just start trying to pull it out piece by piece. Seems the easiest. Got the foam out. I went ahead and just ripped it all up on this corner because I'm pretty sure it's like behind the clutch, master cylinder bracket, the gas bracket, and probably just continuation of that same bracket. Still have a little bit of foam in the car, basically all out. Whoa, right now that I'm looking, this was not here before. What the fuck happened here? And it's weird because my car literally does not move from this parking spot what the fuck i wonder if this was me or something or like me just rubbing on on here or something like i think the hatch got hit weird obviously we got a little bit of leftover foam we're gonna have to clean up before we paint this firewall now that we got that foam out the way we're able to see how this chassis harness is ran all the way to that side 
which is a uh, pretty nice we also can see all the srs airbag wires how they're ran which we're most likely gonna end up removing what's back here huh anybody could let me know what this other cable is it's another one that leads inside of there for now i'm just gonna go ahead and start removing all the srs yellow wiring inside the vehicle SRS is basically removed. We went ahead and removed those, which I'm assuming they're like sensors. So like if you crash or something like that on either side, that's when it activates the airbag right here. But then it connects over here. And I'm not sure where any of that leads to. I do see some of the yellow wiring within this right here. Basically, it's just a big ass mess. It's a mess I don't want to deal with right now. I want to figure out what all of this is. I want to simplify it because right now, God damn, and cats going ham out there. I want to figure out where, what every cable is here. Nothing. I've been having a bloody nose all freaking day. It's probably gonna bleed any moment now. I think we're gonna call it for today's video. We got a decent amount done. It's not a lot, but it's progress, and it's slowly giving me a better idea of how this set car is set up and how I'm gonna have to work with the harness throughout the car in order to be able to do the case swap. We definitely still have a lot of work to do. I don't know if I'm bleeding yet, but I started feeling a liquid. Huh, I'm not bleeding. Weird. Oh, I hate nosebleeds, guys. Honestly, today was bad. I was in the car and then my nose started bleeding bad or in the truck and uh, I almost fainted. <laughs> I don't know if it's just cause I'm like nervous about blood or stuff like that or I was just losing a shit ton of blood or something. I don't know, but I was about to faint. I got the napkin in my nose just in case I start bleeding any second now. You know that little watery feeling on your nose before you start bleeding? I have that right now. But anyways, <laughs> I probably look so stupid. I'm sorry, guys. I was doing a little bit of brainstorming right now that I was cleaning. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect all of, like, let's say the cluster. I'm going to connect it to all the plugs that belong to the cluster. And we're going to start labeling all of the all of the wires or the bundle of wires we'll label it because eventually i feel like i'm gonna end up having to take apart the wiring harness just because i want to take this build to the next level i want to get rid of whatever i don't need and in order to do that i'm gonna have to unwrap the wiring that's my big idea if you guys got any ideas or suggestions for me please comment down below before i end up doing something i shouldn't be doing theory it should be a good idea like that i could also learn all the wiring and know where it goes and where it's coming from because right now i don't know where anything goes simplify the harness that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it it is a little bit of a shorter video just because i'm not doing a lot of progress i still have two days technically to my whole vlogmas schedule i go on vacation for the weekend so i won't be able to finish out like the 31st after that, all the videos should be a bit more full or a lot more progress in each video just because I'll have the whole week to be able to finish something in the car, upload a video. If you guys got any advice, comment down below. Like, so guys, I'm not a mechanic. All Everything that I'm doing to my car, I just simply am learning as I go. But if you guys want to follow along with the channel, I suggest you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final video of Vlogmas. Peace out. Good night. God bless.